Okay guys, so people can get themselves into some pretty sticky and unsafe or trapped situations. So my sister-in-law is in one of those situations and to be honest, she put herself there because she didn't want to take the help that was offered way before she met her boyfriend and became a mother at the age of 21. And she didn't finish high school. She doesn't even have her GED. She's just now starting to work on her GED at 22. And she's never had a driver's license. She got her learner's permit about five or six years ago. But she really hasn't took that step to get an actual driver's license. But she, you know, she's just, she's just in this situation where she is, has to rely on everyone to get her from A to B. And she, she's in this position where she needs financial help with her daughter and all of these other things. But there has been multiple offers to help her not get in that situation and put her on, you know, for all of that. But anyways, she, this is this year she co she tried to commit suicide, and then she acted like she was getting better. And I got a phone call today saying, hey, she made a second attempt at suicide, but I guess she was, like, caught in the middle of this second attempt. I guess broke down, cried, confessed that she was trying to end her life. They took her to the hospital for this and tried to put her back in the same program, but the program denied her. And the Lord just the Lord just spoke to me and said, do you not realize that if the rapture were to happen right this very moment, there would be no stopping Kayla from taking her life because she does not know me. And that precious baby girl is the most important thing in her life. And that is what got her to stop the attempt of her um, second suicide. And the Lord just kind of revealed that to me. And I'm like, do you know how many people? It, it's just my brain got to think. I'm like, how many people are in that situation or similar situations where they feel like the only way out is suicide? How many people are truly going to commit suicide the second the rapture happens or shortly thereafter because they can't find their children, their newborn babies, and they're trying to figure out what they do wrong to get their child taken from them. And the only thing they did wrong was they didn't give their life to the Lord. They didn't live for Jesus. They didn't seek Jesus. Guys, that is, it's so important that we seek Jesus and we, we give ourselves to the Lord. We turn from our wicked ways and we build a relationship with him every day and that we are rapture ready. Because that rapture, it's, it's fixing to happen. And you know, it's so close. And my heart just literally breaks for those who are going to be left behind to deal with the seven years of tribulation and how many people are not only going to come to Christ at the, you know, shortly thereafter the rapture, but how many people are going to say, I'm ending my life because of it. It's, it's going to be happy and dark and I'm going to get off here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.